more spring storms are in the forecast so let's get right into it today no storms but there could be some spotty showers out there just so much rich gulf moisture in the air that we've got a few light showers there near whitney maybe one just north of ferris there but really not much it's just going to be spotty light rain here and there just don't be surprised to feel a few raindrops but that should be about it temperatures today are actually right around normal 79 80 degrees with your norm of 79 but overnight we are warmer than normal 67 and 68 degrees as the humidity and the cloud cover help us to hold in some of that daytime heating now in the mid-range hey medium for your pollen so we'll take that over medium high or high any day and we'll see that fluctuate over the next few days as we get a couple of storm systems in here now i want to talk about these two one of those run right off the coast of california here that will head in and bring us showers late Thursday, early Friday. And then this system, bigger one's going to bring us storms late Saturday into Sunday. So you've heard me or at least seen me typing about uh, these different storm systems that we've been watching, trying to refine the timeline a little bit. And we finally got that a little more narrowed down. So let's get into that right now. Now today we do have this stationary front north of us that should sit just north of or right around the Red River. So I'm not expecting anything from that for us today. We'll have to wait for this storm system to come ashore that will come into the desert southwest and eject to the northeast. So a pretty typical pattern for that. I will say it will be far enough north that I don't think we see too terribly much out of it, but we could get a broken line of thunderstorms early Friday morning. We'll see it develop late Thursday night west of us in West Texas and then move in Friday morning. The benefit from that, of course, is we're not getting it during the daytime heating. So those storms should be a bit warmer, but or weaker rather, but we should see some gusty winds maybe left over. Some small hail will be possible. Just kind of depends on how weak they are when they get here. The downside is, yes, that will probably be right around the time that we're driving to school, to work, six, seven, eight o'clock time period. I think that's still going to change from what the models are showing right now. So that's kind of your window of what's likely, but we'll see more uh, in the next couple of days how that refines. Now let's talk about severe weather. So Thursday, clearly outlined well west of us. So that's where we should see Thursday night, those storms develop. As we get into Friday here, there's a couple of things I want to talk about. The storm should move in during the morning hours. Again, six, seven, eight, nine o'clock there. Still pretty broad because I'm leaving some space for that to change. We are in a slight risk. Now, I'm not really sure that this is the right positioning. I think that really most of us should be in a marginal risk, and then the slight risk should be east of us. We'll see if that changes. Usually, right around the time I'm filming these, the Storm Prediction Center updates these, so we'll see if there's an update to post later today. But I, I honestly think that this should be pushed eastward because when the storms come through our area, it'll just be a broken line of some possibly strong thunderstorms. I don't think we see much in terms of severe weather, at least with the timeline right now. But as that moves eastward, gets east of I-45 here, okay, that's when we start warming up the day. So we're getting into that daytime heating. Then we start looking at the possibility of those storms blossoming once again, becoming stronger. Now, whether or not that's going to happen when they're in the Ennis, Corsicana area, right along 45 or east of there, it just depends on the timeline. But I think that the slight risk should really be shifted more eastward as that's where that system will be when we actually do see the daytime heating and the chance for those to become more intense and severe as we go through the later part of the day. Then after that, Saturday into Sunday, that's what we got to talk about. The dry line west of us will sharpen throughout the day Saturday. Daytime heating will blossom storms. I do think those will develop west of us and move in. So it could be another one of these 9, 10, 11 o'clock events that moves through, unfortunately, late in the evening. Sun's already down, but it looks like they will blow up to our west and move eastward. Now, here's the difference. We could be looking at supercell thunderstorms in our area. Now, whether or not they congeal into a solid line before they get through our area or not, that's always the question, right? October 4th, we thought those were all going to come together and really that was going to mitigate the tornado risk but we had that one storm that decided to go on its own and maintain that supercellular uh, excuse me supercellular if i can speak uh, structure there and uh, that organization so what we're going to be watching is to see how long those stay 
individualized and that well organized because that will increase our risk for large hail downburst winds and possibly a few tornadoes. Once they become a straight line, well, your tornado risk generally starts to go down a little bit. Then we start focusing on those straight line winds. So we will have to watch and see what happens. Now we're included in the same risk for Sunday, but really we're on the, the kind of edge of it because by Sunday morning, most of that should be pulling eastward. So I think Sunday's mostly dry and I think Saturday, it will be a late evening nighttime event. So that's kind of the timing that we're looking at there. So let's put all of this together in the forecast. Again, today, warm, light winds, cloudy, a few spotty showers out there. Tomorrow, probably about the same, but the winds will be cranking up. So we'll definitely feel the humidity and those warm southerly winds. Friday, we start out in the morning with showers and thunderstorms. A few of them could be strong. The afternoon, I will be watching to see where that line is. Where's all that energy from that system when we start getting into the afternoon hours, one, two, three o'clock. Could be along I-45, could be farther east. I'll bring more updates on that to you as we get closer. Saturday, most of the day is fine, but then in the afternoon, we'll start to see those storms popping up to the west. And I think that evening, 7, 8, 9, 10 o'clock is probably when we start to see those move into our area. And that could be a higher risk of more severe weather because we could, again, be looking at those supercell thunderstorms. So stay tuned as we get closer and start to really refine that forecast. Sunday, low 80s there. Looks like most of any kind of lingering rain will be in the morning. And then we're warming up Monday, Tuesday, closer to the mid 80s. And we could be looking at another chance of rain somewhere in here, but I'm not really confident in it yet. So we'll get to that. Right now, the focus is on storms Friday morning, the possibility of some storms in our eastern areas Friday afternoon, and then the biggest risk for severe weather late Saturday into early Sunday. So stay tuned, more updates are to come.